Hello guys, for today's tutorial is all about desktop assembly for Lumion. Our objective for today's tutorial is to assemble desktop components to meet the recommended requirements for Lumion. Second is to minimize the cost when budgeting for the computer parts while meeting the recommended requirement of Lumion. At the end of the tutorial, you will know an example of a stress-free working desktop at a minimal cost. Well, this is our mug. Welcome to this tutorial. So, let's begin. As a 3D rendering program, Lumion is different from other CAD softwares as it relies primarily on having an excellent graphics card. This is especially important for Lumion's high-end features. Lumion also requires a computer with a fast graphics card with a plenty of memory as well as internet connection. So the primary component for your PC is the graphics card. So let us go to the recommended requirements for the graphics card of Lumion. The minimum graphics card is 7000 G3 D Mark while the recommended graphics card is 14,000 G3D Mark. So let us go to this link. So this is the high-end video card here. This column is for the number of the G3D Mark. So today's latest is 3090Ti. So this machine, my, my computer is 3060Ti. So, my pass mark is 20,388. So, this is above the recommended pass mark for Lumion. For the graphics card memory, the minimum is 4 gigabytes, while the recommended is 8 gigabytes or more. The operating system is Windows 10, the same for the recommended. Then, the CPU is the second most important we go to the cpu mark minimum requirements which is 2000 while the recommended is 2200 the most important for this is the speed the gigahertz so let us go to, to this length so here is the CPU mark. So here is the CPU mark for the different CPUs. The top one is the Intel Core i9 for this table. So it has a 4400. My CPU is Intel Core i7 12700F. Pass mark is 3969. So it is above the recommended requirements for Lumion. So after the CPU, the monitor, the monitor with screen resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels, same as the recommended. While the system memory, the minimum requirement is 16 GB and the recommended is 32 GB or more. So if you are out of budget, you have to purchase only one 16 GB. To make 32 GB, you have to purchase another one. So it is 16 GB plus 16 GB is 32 GB. But according to my experience for small projects only, 16 GB is enough for smaller projects. So hard drive is SATA 3 SSD or HSD. Same SATA 3 SSD or NVMe into storage here my idea is that you prefer for SSD for your software installation directory while HDD for your storage of your files SSD is more faster than HDD so the hard drive space is minimum 40 GB so you may purchase SSD uh, minimum of 180 or 256 GB it's enough to install I recommend with a minimum of 256 500 GB is ideal also so let's come to the power supply so our power supply minimum is 80 plus gold rated so let's go to this link so here is the 
minimum requirement for the power supply. So the minimum requirement for the graphics card for mine is 3060Ti. The minimum is 600 watts. So my power supply is 750 watts, the recommended one. So that's it. So if you buy higher graphics card, so higher budget, then higher wattage for power supply. If you are considering to purchase a new PC for Lumion, Lumion recommends that it has at least the hardware listed above. So the most important is graphics card. So spend a lot for the graphics card. Then the second one is the CPU. Focus on the speed. So let us estimate the component of our desktop. So we focus on the graphics card and the processor. The graphics card is 3060Ti twin edge with an 8GB memory. So the second important part of our desktop is the CPU. So for this desktop, the CPU is i7 12700F then the speed is 4.9 GHz so when choosing a CPU you should see what is the speed this is overclockable 2.1 GHz is the base clock speed it cost $478 for me the next important is the monitor so as an architect the wider the drawing table the better so likewise when working in our desktop so i prefer to monitor so the spec must be 144 hertz this must be the most vital specs for the monitor with a high of 144 hertz so our next is the mouse for me the fourth important when working on Lumion this is a gaming mouse it must be a gaming mouse the advantage of this gaming mouse is that this button you can customize it using the Logitech software and let's come to the motherboard your motherboard should be compatible to your processor so you have to choose this LGA 1700 and the series must be Z690 it must be a Z series so I prefer the DR4 so let's come to the RAM for this unit I choose the Kingston Fury Beast with 16 GB one module the motherboard I choose is a four slot so I can pull their 16 GB of RAM so this is a DDR4 with a speed of 36 hundreds megahertz so if your motherboard is ddr4 your ram will also be ddr4 if the motherboard is ddr5 ram also is ddr5 so if you choose a ddr5 this speed will be higher but the price also will be higher some ddr5 ram are 42 megahertz so our next component is the radiator so radiator is the one that calls your cpu when choosing a radiator choose what is noiseless so the next component part is the power supply so this is very important if you did not choose the right power supply your system will crash so the recommended power supply for Lumion is the gold certified and it should be 750 watts must be 80 plus our next is the casing ATX case it's only a mid tower our component parts is enough to accommodate this can house a 360 mm radiator it has a three RGB fans pre-installed here so if you have a radiator the fan for the radiator will be placed here at the front it will be replaced by the technician so this two RGB fan will be positioned two at the top and one at the rear there will be a spare for this because this tower has four fans pre-installed it cost only 78 this is a heavy ATX power if you prefer a lighter one the budget is heavier so our next one is the SSD for solid state drive my 
SSD is 250GB. I am using this for the installation of my program. So if you use this for your operating system, if you turn on the desktop, a matter of 10 seconds, you can start your work. So here is the HDD hard disk drive. I use this for only for the storage of my 3D models. So this is a uh, one terabyte. It cost only $53. So this is enough for all your models. So the next thing is the keyboard. I choose only this basic keyboard. It's only 1574. It should be wired, but this unit is wireless keyboard. I prefer a wired keyboard and the brand is Logitech. So for other parts, you may purchase a headphone or a speaker. Then you may also have this chair for your work from Kogar Fusion Body Embracing Design. So here is my PC build. The cost $2,711 for a stress-free working desktop. So for me, this desktop assembly is an ideal one. Uh, budget friendly so that's it for this tutorial once again i'm armag thank you for watching